Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You guessed it. You guessed it. It is your boy, Trey Sense, and it is that time again. It is time for the weekly fragrance review and rotation. And what we do in this review, this video, this discussion, we simply talk about the fragrances that I wore during this past week, uh, the situations that I wore them in, which is mainly work, and the compliments that I may or may not have gotten from those fragrances. Listen, before we get into that though, I need something from you. Continue to check in. Man, I got people checking in from Chicago, from Wyoming, Georgia, Tennessee, Texas is rocking with me hard. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a beautiful thing. California, y'all continue to check in, <clears throat> excuse me, and let me know where you watching the video from. Bay Springs, Mississippi is always in here. Alabama's well represented. Not as represented as I would like though. It's my home state, but it is what it is. Um, continue, Chicago is always checking in. New York is checking in. New Jersey checked in. So y'all continue to let me know where you're watching the videos from, please. Um, be sure to like, be sure to share, and be sure to sub to the channel. Also, a little bit of information for you real quick. JB Butters. Excellent product, excellent product, excellent product. I use a lot of JB Butters. So, excellent product. Black Friday sale, okay? JB is having a Black Friday sale. Buy one, get one half off. Buy four, get one free. Buy five, get one free. Use code TREY5. You won't get an additional percentage off, but it just helps keep track of what's going on. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, hold on, let me see if I can reach my butters real quick. You know what, no, hold on one second. Starting the video over. Let's just rock with it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just roll. So, for those of you who don't know what JB Butters is and which one did I get, uh, which one's it? Blue De Chanel. It is scented shea butter and it's really good stuff, man. It's really good stuff. I recommend it. I use it to help extend the longevity of my fragrances and I simply just get just a little bit like that in my hand. So, a little bit goes a long way. Rub it in. For those of you with nice beards, you rub this stuff in your beard. It does help extend the length of your fragrances. And it also helps extend the scent profile of your fragrance, if that makes any sense. Because this stuff stays on really, really good. What I try to do is I try to pair my fragrances with certain butters. Just, you know, if I'm wearing a fresh blue type scent, I go with this one. Uh, the one I wore the most was probably either uh, Inv was it Invictus that I had? I can't remember because I'm out of it. I've, I've ran. I've went through several jars. It was either Invictus. Let's say it was Invictus and Egyptian Amber. Those were two that I ran through the quickest because they went with just about everything. I ran through the Invictus this summer and I ran through the Egyptian Amber during the fall and winter. But anyway, just wanted to show you the product. It's a good, it's a really good product. So well worth your money. And again, just a little bit goes a long way. You can stick this in your desk drawer at work, stick it in your gym bag, wherever. It just, it's just use it as a um, manscaping product. You know what I'm saying? It just helps freshen up you know, throughout the day. Anyway, I digress for that. Again, go to www.jbbutters.com, search, pick out you a butter. If you buy one, you're gonna get one half off. If you buy four, you're gonna get one free. Again, use code TRAY5, that's that. Now, let's get into it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, typical work week for me, nothing, nothing, nothing special you know I did just do a haul so I did get some fragrances in and I did wear some of those fragrances this week first fragrance that I wore to work um, and this little bottle is up for sale for those who want it I bought a gift set polo 67 
bottle of 67. I bought the gift set, so I have the big 4.2 ounce bottle, I think. And this 1.3 ounce bottle is for sale. Give you a really good price. Prices always include shipping. Now, this fragrance surprised me. I knew when I got this fragrance that it was going to be a compliment getting fragrance. I knew that. I knew that off the rip. I knew this would be the type of fragrance that got a lot of compliments. And it is. Is it the reinvention of the wheel? No, it's not. I let one of my older friends smell it as I sold him a few fragrances out of my collection. I'll tell you what I sold him. I sold him uh, uh, Al Haramine Amber Oud Gold. I had an extra bottle and that's what he, you know, he smelled it, he liked it, he wanted it, he bought it. So um, he didn't dislike this, but he didn't like it. And I'm not really sure why, but it's a compliment getting fragrance. That's the only thing I'm gonna tell you. It's simple, it's easy, it's not the reinvention of the, the wheel. It falls right along in there to me with um, Ralph Club and Ralph Club Parfum. Again, I've yet to get my hands on that Ralph Club Elixir. I want the Ralph Club Elixir. I'll get the Ralph Club Elixir eventually, but right now I don't even have a desire to even buy a fragrance because I just bought so many, so. But nonetheless, Polo 67. Fresh, slightly blue, mass appealing fragrance. But I did receive two unsolicited compliments from this fragrance. And I didn't even realize you could still smell it, but you could, especially if you spray it on a hoodie or something like that. It's gonna sit there and they're gonna, they, they will smell it. And for whatever reason, women like the scent profile. I mean, you have to think about it like this. These people are not gonna make a fragrance, spend time marketing a fragrance, put a fragrance out that doesn't smell good or that they don't think is gonna sell. They don't just sit around and go, yeah, put that out. They do research, they study, they spend money studying this stuff. They spend lots of money developing it, hiring expensive perfumers. And I'm not saying that they always get it right. And I'm not saying that they're walking this, this line of, um, <laughs> uh, of walking this edge, you know, because they're not. It, they're very close to the vest nowadays with fragrances because, again, in my opinion, it's because they do spend so much money on marketing and everything that goes into making a fragrance. They don't want to lose money. But I say that to say, this is a good little freshy, everyday fragrance, office scent, church, just a daily driver, slightly blue fragrance. That's what you have here. I'll tell you another one I wanna get my hands on and I'm going to eventually, and that's that Mont Blanc Legend Blue. I'm going to eventually get that. And also, I didn't know if I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last videos, in some of the last videos I did. They have a new Jimmy Choo out, Jimmy Choo Red. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I didn't spend a whole lot of time with it. They sprayed it on the car for me. I smelled it. I liked it, but it's around a hundred dollars and I can't pay that for a Jimmy Choo fragrance because I know the price will drop drastically. But I say that to say, here's a good one for you. Anybody's interested in that, my email will be in the description along with the address to JB Butters. And yeah, you can go over and get you some butters. Good Christmas gift, Black Friday sale, if I didn't mention that. And yeah, you can purchase this. I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. Again, shipping will be included. But that was my scent of the day. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. What did I wear? Monday, I went with an old faithful because it had cooled off and I was putting on a hoodie to wear to work. And I just love the way this fragrance smells. One of the best inexpensive fragrances that I've ever encountered. Now, this was a gift from a friend of mine in Texas and this is just a good smelling fragrance and you see the levels <laughs> you see the levels on that yeah I've, I'm gonna have to order another bottle of this because it when the weather cools off I just like it man 
I just like it. I just like it. And it, it's it's very similar to YSL's uh, Land Weed Alone. Very sweet, very date night type of fragrance, except I think this can be had for under $30. And again, I don't know if it's been discontinued, so I may want to go ahead and purchase myself a backup bottle. Uh, Trusardi is a pretty good house that doesn't get a lot of love. Doesn't get a lot of love, doesn't get a lot of talk. But um, nonetheless, it's a good, sweet date night, fall, winter, cozy, cuddle up. Would be a great fragrance to wear to Thanksgiving dinner, which is coming up. It's just a good fragrance, guys. I'm definitely gonna check out, I think they have a black and I think they have a blue. I think I'm definitely gonna check out the Trusardi Black as well and the uh, Trusardi Blue. I may just hit Sam up. I know Sam likes to sell fragrances. He got them in his collection. I may wanna see if he wanna offload one or two cheapies, but it would just be cool just to get them because they was in Sam's collection, but anyway. From the house of Trusardi, it is Trusardi's Reflesso. I don't know if I ever said that. If I'm a little off, it's because I just woke up. It's about four in the morning, I fell asleep. I had to get this video out though. See, <laughs> boy, he's just waking up. So bear with me as I shake out the cobwebs. Again, on this channel, if this is your first, a second, or third time coming by, I'm not the guy that sits here and pretends to be all proper and speak to you as if. That's not what you're gonna get here. What you're gonna get is, is if you just walk through my front door and, and you sitting down to kick it with your own. That's what you're gonna get with me. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just it. So if you want, if you're looking for a perfect reviewer, it, it's not him. I'm not, nor am I trying to be. All right, but that's what I wore Monday. Tuesday, I went back to some of my new fragrances and this was one that I could not wait to get in my collection as I am a huge fan of this house and a huge fan of this line. The house is Azaro. The line is from the wanted slash most wanted line. We'll just say wanted. This is Azaro's most wanted perfume. And I could not wait to get this one. And I love it. I love it. This is one of the few fragrance, not this particular one. Oh, this smells so good. Chocolatey boozy it smells like everything that you would expect this bottle to look like oh man now i like this fragrance i think for the money it's a really good fragrance and i also think for the money when it comes to bang for your buck of that middle grade designer fragrance i really think azaro does it as good if not better than anybody, because let, let's face it, YSL is a little bit higher. Um, Chanel is is almost niche quality fragrance. I think Azaro gives you a really quality product for the price that they give it to you. Same thing with Versace. You know, Versace is right there in the middle when it comes to fragrances. Now I know fashion Versace rocks out, but still, when it comes to fragrances, they're right there in that middle tier. But they give you a really good product for the price point that they give it to you. And the reason I put YSL in this upper echelon is because, I mean, you got to think that YSL myself for 100 mil is $180. I can buy a lot of, uh, I can buy a lot of niche fragrance. I can buy a lot of, of uh, Montal and, and Mancera for $180. I can buy, even buy some Parfums de Mali if I shop right. So, with that being said, I think this is a really good fragrance line and a good fragrance house. For the money, I, just, I think I just came up with another idea for a review, and this is gonna surprise a lot of you, but I think I'm gonna do Trey's Christmas list, and that's fragrances that are on my wish list. And I know you're probably thinking, Trey, you buy everything that you want. I do, but there's still a couple of fragrances that are on my wish list, so that may be your next video. But anyway, this one had escaped me for a long time because I don't shop at Sephora, I don't shop at Belk, I only buy my fragrances if I'm going to pay full retail over the counter. I only get them from Dillard's because, I mean, Dillard's works with me. I have a card. It just works for me. So, But this one is one that had eluded me 
And I'm glad to have this sweet gourmand, coffee, chocolatey, boozy fragrance in my collection. I absolutely love this. And I do have a decan of it as well for sale. I think it's 10 mil, maybe 10 mil again. Prices include shipping. I don't know, I'll probably let that one go. Shipping and all, 15 bucks maybe, if you're interested. That's a good little fragrance. But anyway, that's what I wore Tuesday. Yeah, where am I at? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's what I wore Tuesday. All right. Wednesday, I went with one. No, that's not Wednesday, that's Thursday. Wednesday, I went with one, that, just because I haven't worn it in a while and it was so bright and it was so pretty outside, I just wanted to wear this fragrance and I really, really enjoyed wearing this fragrance. And it's from the house of Cartier and it is Pasha de Cartier Edition Nar Sport. Whew. I think when they named these fragrances, they weren't thinking about reviewers. I absolutely hate this top. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be a, a dome in Rome or something. I don't know what that is. But I like this fragrance. I'm going to tell you the name one more time. <laughs> Pasha de Cartier Edition Nor Sport because they have black as well. I have the, I think it's just the original Pasha de Cartier. The EDP is on my wish list. Uh, and maybe the parfum. I'm not sure which iteration that they made. I know I have the original, so I don't know if the second one was the Parfum or the EDP. I'm not sure. But this one right here, it's a nice, masculine, sporty fragrance. You do get a little bit of brightness with this, and I mean just a little bit. But it smells expensive. It smells expensive. I mean, Cartier is... is class in anything that they do. If you have some Cartier frames, you spend some good money in their quality. If you have a Cartier timepiece, you spend some, some really good money. The fragrances are not quite as good as their eyewear and their wristwear, but honestly, for the money, I know I was talking about Sam just a little bit ago. Cartier is one of his favorite houses and they make good fragrances. But again, this one is warm. Um, it's good for this time of the year. It does come across as a little bit sporty, but not really um, Because I mean you have to think I think noir means nighttime. So what sport are you playing at night? Or what are you doing at night that's sporty? You're not on the golf course. You're not playing tennis at night. I guess you could play tennis under the lights at night, but they don't do it a whole lot. You're certainly not playing golf. So I mean uh, it's one of those names that doesn't really make sense for the fragrance and that's the only one I know how to tell you is it a good fragrance yes but again are you going sporting at night I mean maybe it's a different kind of sport at night you're going for I don't know why they named the fragrance that but the opening is a little bit I'm, I'm not gonna say off-putting it's not the best when you get to that mid which it dissipates through the opening very very quickly when you get to that mid that's when the sweetness and the red and the cherry are, and, and, the, and the brightness starts to come through and that's when it becomes a really good fragrance so you just have to bear with it for about 10 to 15 seconds maybe 20 seconds and then it settles down and becomes a really bright red fragrance i guess with the kiss of gnar it makes you want to wear it at night i don't know why they stuck that gnar on there i don't know makes no sense but from the house of Cartier, it is Pasha de Cartier Edition Noir Sport. Say that three times for you. That's what I wore Wednesday. Now Thursday, it was really, really cool out. I had to work a rare day shift. So I got off work at 11 and then had to be right back at 11, which was fine because I got off at four and it has made this weekend seem extremely long. If I could, I would work that way every week. That way, as when I got home, it was like, after I went and got my hair cut, it may have been six o'clock, seven o'clock. And I'm normally at work and not getting home till 11, 11.30, sometimes 12. 
and getting unwound and settled down it's one or two o'clock in the morning so it feels like this has been a long long weekend but anyway i digress from the house of dapper it is their version of Parfums de Marley's Ojan. And this I got in a little travel thingy from Dapper. And I'm very, very pleased with this fragrance. I've had it probably a few years now. That is so good. And you see the color of that juice. Really, really good juice, really good product. I love things like this because you know, I take a lot of road trips and, I'm, you know, I try to take a trip at least once a year, or at least twice a year. And grabbing stuff like this when I'm going on the trip is absolutely easy. This thing right here is going to protect the fragrance. You can put it in your pockets. You can leave it in your car. I mean, it's not leave it in your car for a long extended period of time. But I mean, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. And I think that makes it easy to travel with. And then I, I think the purpose for it was when you got ready to reorder all you had to do was just order this again and you stick it right back down off in here sort of like scentbird with their little twist thingies but you know it is what it is but this right here this one would be great for the christmas and thanksgiving holidays because we're just right around the corner from thanksgiving because today's sunday so we were five days away um but just a great great fragrance i did not receive any compliments but you have to realize there is a difference of night and day between working during the daytime at a grocery store and working at night. I am not the day shift crowd guy. I am the evening shift crowd guy. People are more chill, more laid back. The crowd is younger. The demographic is young, younger. And anytime you get a lot of old fuddy duddies and Gertrude ain't playing about no spicy, cinnamony, appley cologne. You know, and she might pop off. Somebody, it smells like potpourri in here. It smells like potpourri. It's, You're like, calm down, Gertrude. Calm down. Chill out. You're going to get your wig all out of line and your pantyhose all bunched up. It's just a little cologne. Ain't nobody trying to seduce you. But you know, that's what them old women think. You were, you were cologne or some aftershave. They think you're a player. They think you're trying to get them. <laughs> you're about trying to get them dusty cookies, Gertrude. Chill out. You can keep them. Anybody want them? But anyway, about the scent, warm, cinnamony, spicy, gourmandy. It just smells like the holidays. I absolutely love this fragrance and it's so crazy because I get torn because I love the scent profile so much. I was like, man, I need to see about getting me a bottle of that from, from Parfums D. Then I go look at the prices and I said, man, I need to hit uh, uh, dapper fragrances up see if I give me another one of them little refills for that because uh, the price is just ridiculous when you can get a very good product of high quality that absolutely nobody's going to think and you know he's wearing a dupe nobody's going to think that all they're going to know is you smell good and this is one of my favorite favorite scent profile so from the house of dapper fragrances it is their version of ojan and again now i didn't get any compliments on it but i know i smell good and that was thursday 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 friday i went out to dinner for a brief second i think it was friday yes it was friday with a lady friend of mine and what i wore was from the house of valentino Womo, born in roma gold and i can tell you Yes, I got complimented. And I can tell you that when this fragrance maturates and gets a little bit of air in that bottle and this stuff forms together just a little bit more, this may be my favorite from the House of Valentino because it, it's fresh, it's gourmandy, See if I got a oop, yep. It's it's a really, really nice fragrance. Now, if you're not a fan of any of the Valentino Born in Romas, you're not gonna like this. If you have a lot of the other Valentino Born in Romas, you 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 may not need this. But is it good? 
yes, $125, but I think it's worth it. And the reason that I think it's worth it. Yes, I like Armoff. Yes, I like a lot of those other fragrances. Yes, you know, I like Afnon Supremacy. And, and yes, I like Latafa. And I will rock with those all day, every day. I love those fragrances. But every now and then, you just got to step up and get yourself a big boy bottle. Not that those are big boy bottles, but let's face it, you work hard. You work hard. You don't always have to have a collection full of of seven or eight hundred dollar fragrances, but you don't always have to have twenty or thirty dollar fragrances either. Sometimes you just want to buy a big boy bottle and get yourself a big boy toy. We deserve that. You know what I'm saying? We deserve that. We do. We do. Sometimes let's like think about like women. Sometimes they go and they call their friend over to do their hair in the kitchen. Sometimes they go down to the salon and drop a couple hundred. We all we life is short. Live it. Oh man, but this one. This one right here, man. It's complex. It's, it's, it's complex. It's a little bit fresh, but off of my skin, you get this gourmand type of vibe. But underneath that gourmand, you got a little bit of something that almost wants to give it a leathery vibe, but it's not over leathery. And then something gives it a little bit of a sweetness, but it's not just overly sweet. I mean, it's almost like, like, cause I bought Intense as well. I haven't worn it yet. <sighs> trying to figure out how to explain it. It's like you can pick up on the Born in Roma DNA, but this is just to me, more grown, more sexy. It lays a little close to the skin. Again, it does project well, but it, I don't know if this is a parfum concentration. I didn't even think to look. I need to look and see if it's a parfum concentration because I still have my box. I'm teetering on whether to keep it or throw it away. I know I'm not going to sell the fragrance, so may as well throw the box away. No point in keeping it, but... <sighs> to me, this is just a very, very well-made fragrance. I don't know what concentration it is, it acts like a parfum concentration in the way that it sits low to the skin. You can smell it as soon as it comes out. It's not a whole lot of alcohol burn. Nice little oil concentration there. I like it. I really, really like this fragrance. I like this fragrance a lot. I had waited on this one. When I saw it, I was like, I'm going to get that. And I wanted to get it for my 5,000 sub mark, but uh, it was sold out around here. Dealers didn't have it. I was actually going to go to Kohl's and get it, not Kohl's, Safari and get it. Safari was sold out, so I was just like, you know what? And then when I went to Dillard's, they asked me, oh, did you get the gold? And I said, and I told her, I said, Trish, you said you wasn't going to get it. You said you didn't know if y'all was going to get it. Well, we got it. So I got it. So from the house of Valentino, it is Valentino's Womo Born in Roma Gold. And I really like this fragrance. Again, anything that you see me talk about, even if I don't have a factory decant, so to speak of it, I still have some five mil decants that I will gladly fill and sell to you. I understand I don't have a website. I'm not trying to have a website. This is a hobby. All you gotta do is hit my email, and if I can get it to you, I will get it to you. If I can spread it in a bottle, you can get a sample of it. I do recommend sampling. It's one thing I wish I was better at. I do. I wish I was better at going and ordering samples and trying them out. But that works for a lot of people. That just doesn't work for me. I've got samples everywhere. And I honestly just forget I have them. I just forget I have them. And I know that sounds bad. I know I talked to Cheapo and he was talking about the number of samples and decants that he had that, that he was gonna review from and all of that stuff, but that just doesn't work for me. I like bottles, you know, nobody's perfect. That's just the way your boy Trey is. I like bottles, full presentation. That's what I like, <laughs> it's just me. But anyway, guys, that is just it. Good morning, happy Sunday morning as I watch the sun rise over Alabama. Um, man, I hope everybody has a good, good holiday weekend coming up. I hope 
you take the time to enjoy your family because you know what? Tomorrow's not promised and some of us ain't gonna make it to tomorrow. Some of us are not gonna make it to next year, next Thanksgiving. So if you have an opportunity to enjoy this Thanksgiving week and this holiday, I suggest that you do so. Enjoy yourself. If you get some time off work, take it. If you're like me and you gotta work through the holidays, oh well, it is what it is. So with that being said, I am going to get off of here and edit this video real quick and get it up to you real quick. Happy Sunday. My Irish won again. They are looking dominated and it looks like the college football playoffs are right there in their grips. And I think they're gonna be a hard team for somebody to handle in the playoffs, but that's just me. That's just me. The Niners play the Packers. I hate the Packers. As a Niners fan, there's two teams I don't like. The Packers and the Cowboys. It goes back to the 90s, but anyway. Listen, I love you all and may God bless you all. And again, thank you so much for being the absolute best part of this channel. You guys are amazing. Thank you. I love you all and may God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace.